Guys, you see this uh, Iyanu father that left the palace before Queen Naomi's return? I don't think it's a good idea. And a lot of information have it that she left because of Kabiyesi's decision. And if you recall, you'll find out that throughout the period that she was in that palace, this uh, Iyaba have been peaceful. You can hardly hear what she says or how she cried out uh, about what is about to happen to the palace. But only recently that uh, Iyanifa left the palace, the security guard was arrested. And now they said uh, Iyaba have started crying out again over the doom that is about to before the palace. That there is danger that Kabi Esi needs to do something that the people should not keep quiet. You know, according to the information, this Iyaba has been uh, in the palace for the longest of time. They said kings have met her there, that she is of a royal dynasty and she have lived there for a very long time. She is the oldest, she is the oldest living soul in that palace. And in as much as she is blind, they said she has foresight. She's a seer. She saw things before they happen. And KBSC doesn't play with her prophecies because most of her prophecies uh, have come to pass, you know. So that day, that should be on Sunday, that uh, we heard that only, uh, only of the first wives, they gathered to have a meeting with them, with him, sorry. Then he left them and went to Akure to pick with Naomi and Tade Nikawo and, go, and they went straight to Lagos to spend time with his family. Before then, there have been uh, an arrest where they said the chief security guard and uh, his deputy, I mean his uh, v uh, second, was arrested over knocking a lady, you know. Then, after that event, that was before that meeting on Sunday, then when KBSC left these people, we do know that they said in that palace they use solar energy, solar energy support, uh, light supply. So, but we do know that this is rainy season. And in this rainy season, the solar is not supplying light enough due to the fact that it works with sunlight. When there is enough sunlight, there will be enough light supply. If the light is not that much, there will be no enough light supply, energy supply. And for that reason, they said the palace normally use generator uh, to supplement that uh, solar, especially this rainy season. So, and there is always 24 hours uh, light supply in that palace. But that day that KBSC left, something happened. And that thing that happened, they said, uh, Iyaba started crying at night. They said whenever anything that looks uh, any danger or any problem wants to before the palace, the palace community, because you know that that palace is a community, a gated community. They said this Yaba will see it and she will start crying. She will start raising alarm. She will start shouting, uh, beckoning on KBAC that this is what these people are planning. You, know, you need to do this, do that. But that night they said KBAC was not uh, around, he left to Akure from Akure to Lagos to spend time with Queen Naomi and Tade Nikawo. So that night, they said that generator that was supplying light to the whole palace was off. It was off not because of fuel or diesel, but according to the information, they said that it developed fault, but it was all lies because. Iyaba was saying that that light did not off because of uh, any fault, that they intentionally off that light in order to achieve something. That these people want to do something in the palace again. Oh. They want to bury another thing in the palace. So oh. There is something they are planning to do in the palace. That was what they said the woman was shouting. But you know that Kabies is not around. And even though the remaining security guard went in there and they check and the people in charge of the generator said that it developed a fault and the palace have to stay that night without light. So there was darkness in the palace throughout the night. And you know, you do know that this, that is an opportunity for the 
uh, women and the, the elders who are bearing one thing or the other in the palace who are doing their evil manipulations. And at this point, the security guard that would have stopped them, the chief security guard that would have stopped them, the one that is not giving them breathing space, the one that is not allowing them have their way in the palace, they have arrested him. He is in, um, in police custody. And Kabiesi don't want to say, uh, he doesn't want to judge it. He wanted the police to uh, uh, go on investigation and find out and take their uh, uh, laws, take laws into their hands and all of that. That was why he allowed that the guy should be arrested. You know? So, now, Iyaba is crying, saying that these people are up to something, that they are up to something, that that generator did not off. Recall that Iyaba is not using light, too, because she's blind. She's not using the light because she's blind. But when there is darkness, she know. You know, because she's a diviner, she is a seer. She was raising a lamb that people are all doing something bad in that palace that night. But who will go and find out? Who, where are these people? Nobody knew. Everywhere was everywhere was darkness. There was no light. They offer hey, and you know that in a place where there is a steady light supply, KBS is supplying light to the whole palace. These people were not bothered about getting their own maybe small generator, past my neighbor generator, so that if something like this happened, they will say, okay, let's all, let's own our own gen and all of that. There is nothing like that. And for that reason, they said throughout that night it was darkness in the palace, and Yaba was saying that. There is something, there is something that that generator did not off by of maybe because it has a fault or anything that they intentionally pay the people to off that generator so that they will achieve their aim in that palace. And I said, now, wow, now, wow, you see these women, they will not rest. And that was why they, 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 they uh, arrested the security guard to keep him off their way because they know that he cannot support them. That if he is there, whether Kabir is in the palace or not, they cannot pave their, they cannot have their way into the palace, let alone offering the generator to do anything, because they said the two of them are the main people who are in charge of that security squad, and they give orders and these people obey their orders. So maybe the other security guard under them were able to the Oloris were able to pay them off or to manip or manipulate them to allow them to do what they must have. That night, they must have done something in that palace. And they said the Yaba was saying that it is all because of Naomi's return. That whatever they are doing, they are doing it so that Naomi will not return back to the palace. They said the woman was crying all through the night. But there was no way anyone can do anything about it. Even though they said some security guard went on to find out if there's anything going on. But I believe that the people must have paid them off. So they will still not come out with any results. Anyways, I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you think about it on the comment section. I believe if Iyamifa is still around, there will be nothing like this in that palace. But only God knows the right thing. I don't know. Tell me what you think about it and share this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're yet to subscribe. And don't forget that I really appreciate your support for me. Bye. I love you guys.